This is ABC 7 News at 6, on the road, live from Machias. Presented by Living Innovations and Barron View Golf Course. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Tyler Cruz and we will try to get to Peter and Beth when we can. We have a lot to talk about. There are some great things happening in Machias, including the Wild Blueberry Festival, so more on that to come. But first, tonight, a main truck driver faced a judge in Bangor Superior Court for the accidental death of a state police officer. A.J. Douglas was there, and A.J. Douglas has the story. Friday, Scott Willett accepted responsibility for causing fatal injuries to state police detective Bill Campbell. Can you begin to say I'm sorry to the family and everybody? Um, it was an accident that I never would have ever imagined. And I just feel so bad myself. I have to deal with this too every day. I, I don't, not a day goes by, I don't think about it. Um, and I am so sorry to everybody that's involved. I never ever would have imagined hurting anyone. Willette was charged with death by violation and additional traffic offenses due to equipment failures after Willette's logging truck lost two wheels and tire assemblies on April 3rd, 2019. Then, One wheel violently struck Ben Campbell and ultimately caused Campbell's yeah. death. A judge okay. ordered Willette to pay $15,000 and the suspension of we his just license need to know for coming six back months. Out for the Vosad, Assistant just District interview. Attorney yeah. Christopher yeah. Alney says okay. he understands yeah. questions might be raised concerning Willette's sentencing terms. And the evidence that we had, we felt that the appropriate charge was death by violation. That's a new statute that the legislature enacted in the past 15, 20 years. And it felt, we felt that it was the appropriate charge for this case. Alney explains no one wins in this case of accidental death. This has been a tremendously emotional time for a lot of people. Uh, we lost a dear person. Uh, he was well loved by his family, by the state troopers that worked with him, by people in our community and his community. Omni says he knows the tragic events from April 3rd, 2019 will stay with Willette beyond Friday's conviction. The defendant appeared to be remorseful. Uh, I think it bothers him about what happened. The Ben Campbell died right in front of him. And that's going to be on his conscience for a long, long time. Willette was ordered to pay $25 a month beginning September 2nd and $100 a month beginning April 3rd until fines have been paid in full. In Bangor, A.J. Douglas, ABC 7, Fox 22. Well, now everything is back up, so we are going to head to Peter and Beth down on the road at Machias. Guys? was sentenced today. 51-year-old Timothy Larabia Brewer was arrested for allegedly entering the Bangor Savings Bank located at 425 Wilson Street in Brewer and threatening a teller. Court records show he obtained more than $1,400 before running from the bank. Larrabee was in court for eight separate cases and a variety of charges, including the bank robbery. Penobscot County Assistant District Attorney Christopher Almey says Larrabee has shown a pattern of reoffending. What concerns us in this law enforcement community is because of the jails uh, being so full, because of the pandemic, because of COVID-19, uh, we're not able to process these cases. And so people are out committing crimes one after the other without it being held accountable. Larrabee pleaded guilty as part of a plea agreement. He was sentenced to five years in prison. An update for you now on the trial of Bobby Nightingale. As of today, Friday, both the defense and the prosecution have rested in that trial. Nightingale is accused of murdering 25-year-old Alan Curtis and 51-year-old Roger Ellis on State Road in Castle Hill back in 2019. The prosecution argues that Nightingale identified the four-wheeler ATV found at the scene as his property, while defense attorney Vern Parody says there are other suspects the state should focus on. The case now in the hands of the jury, they are deliberating. Authorities are investigating a death, meanwhile, in Presque Isle. Approximately 
2 o'clock on Thursday afternoon, the Presque Isle Police Department received a call about a deceased man at 17 Parsons Street. During their investigation, officers say they discovered a suspicious looking package at the residence. They vacated the home and shut down the road. A spokesperson says the state fire marshal's office is trying to determine who had the package and how the device got there. The Presque Isle Police Department is investigating the death. Penobscot County Sheriff's Office has released the identities of the people involved in the deadly crash in Dixmont on Wednesday. It happened on Route 9 just after 1230 Wednesday afternoon. Investigators had determined 34 year old Andrew Clark of Belfast was traveling at a high rate of speed and making unsafe passes while traveling west. They say during one of his passes at the crest of a hill, Clark's car struck an oncoming vehicle driven by 74 year old Doreen Spinney of Dixmont. Both people died at the scene. They were the only people in their respective vehicles. The Penobscot County Sheriff's Office still investigating that crash. Well, switching gears now, of course, we are live on the road here in Machias for the Wild Blueberry Festival. And with picture perfect weather, the town of Machias hosting that festival for the first time in the past two years. Our Matthew Jaronsik has that story. I'm here at the Machias Blueberry Festival, and after two years, people are excited that the festival is back. It's just something that everybody gets out, especially now since COVID, you know, from the last couple of years that we were down, they didn't, they didn't operate. So it's, uh, it's good to be back. The Machias Wild Blueberry Festival kicked off a weekend of festivities Friday morning after being canceled the past two years due to the pandemic. For Ellen Farnsworth, being able to bring back the event is a great thing for the community. It, uh, it impacts the entire community and surrounding communities. So it's really a big deal. It was very difficult for all of us to not have the festival for the past two years. Not only that, we miss the community spirit. According to Farnsworth, the Wild Blueberry Festival attracts more people to Machias than any other event, as the town population of 2,000 residents rises to 15,000 throughout the weekend. Gardner says the event also serves as a great way to showcase local artists and vendors. It's, it's a lot of local flavor here, you know. I mean, a lot of the vendors here are from the area and stuff like that, and everybody's friendly. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a pleasant experience, as far as I can see, for the uh, fairgoers to get to buy different products, whether, you know, uh, being my product or, or uh, like the blueberry stuff. They got pies and jams and jellies and all that stuff. Participants got the chance to browse the various vendors that set up shop for the day, from woodworkers to homemade jewelers. First-time visitor Jacob Zielinski says the event provides family-friendly fun. This was a way to kind of connect with our family, and to come here was a gift. And as you can see behind me, people are still coming out to this festival, which will run all weekend and include the Wild Blueberry Run and the well-known pie eating contest. Reporting from Machias, Matthew Jaronsik, ABC7, and Fox 22. All righty, folks, we're back out here live in Machias. We are enjoying the dulcet tones of a really great tuba player who's <laughs> yes. part of a parade that's coming up the street uh, in front of us right now. Hopefully you can see that on your screen. They've got just awesome weather to kick this festival off. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like you said, the, the sounds of the festival have <laughs> begun. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like you said, beautiful weather too. And for more on what we can expect throughout the weekend, we'll turn things over for a first look at our forecast. Thank you so much. And our first weather today is brought to you by Goose River Farm Meat Store. So today, a lot nicer than yesterday. We had pretty chilly weather out there yesterday in the 60s. Today, a bit warmer than that, close to 80 degrees earlier as a high. 78 in Bar Harbor and even some 80s by Waterville and by Rockland. So we were all looking and nice out there today. Right now, pretty nice as well. Just a few passing clouds and no rain showers at the moment. A couple of sprinkles, but other than that, just some passing clouds. Winds, though, we are a little bit on the breezy end. We have a wind at around 12 miles an hour in Bar Harbor, 15 here in Bangor. Most of it is blowing out of the north and northwest. So it is a bit on the breezy end, but later on tonight, winds will go calm and temperatures will cool down into the upper 50s to lower 60s. Well, coming up on ABC 7 News live on the road, we'll have more on the Wild Blueberry Festival happening here in Machias, including some of the delicious food you'll be able to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So stay with us as ABC 7 News on the road rolls on.
Situated in Jonesboro on the coast of Maine lies Baron View Golf Course, a true Lynx course that's a treat for golfers of all skill levels. We feature a driving range, putting green, practice sand trap, pro shop, and snack bar. Open seven days a week. Please call ahead for a tee time. On the road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from Machias, is sponsored by the University of Maine Early College. Tuition-free online fall courses for high school students, umaine.edu slash early college. Coastal Auto Parts, your local Napa Auto Parts dealer, with 29 locations, owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. And Cottonwood Camping, located in the heart of Down East Maine. We have easy access to the Sunrise Trail System with ATV and electric bike rentals. Get 2.19% APR for 60 months plus 500 purchase allowance on a 2022 Cadillac XT4, XT5, and XT6. Visit Quirk Cadillac in Bangor. Inflation, a broken supply chain, and high gas prices. Mainers everywhere are facing tough decisions about rising costs. Growing up as part of a small family business in Leeds, I learned what a struggling economy does to small businesses, jobs, and to working class people. And serving as a Marine in Afghanistan and Iraq taught me to stand strong for what's right in the face of adversity. I'm Jared Golden, and that's why in Congress, I'm an independent voice for you, taking on my own party to stand up for Maine families. I was the only Democrat to vote against trillions of dollars of President Biden's agenda because I knew it would make inflation worse. I stood with law enforcement against defunding the police. I support cutting the gas tax and increasing domestic oil production. I'm working to lower prescription drug costs and standing firm against any cuts to Social Security and Medicare. I'll always be an independent fighter for you. I'm Jared Golden, and this is my family. I approve this message because when it comes to doing what's right for your family, I'll never back down. Situated in Jonesboro on the coast of Maine lies Baron View Golf Course, a true Lynx course that's a treat for golfers of all skill levels. We feature a driving range, putting green, practice sand trap, pro shop, and snack bar. Open seven days a week. Please call ahead for a tee time. There's one number you need to know. It's called Joe. All right, well, we are back out here live in Machias at the Wild Blueberry Festival. I'm here with Ken Warner. Ken, thank you so much for joining us. Thank now, you, now you are involved with the part of a festival that I tend to gravitate towards, and that's the food. So first, tell the people all of the deliciousness they can expect here. Oh, it's, it's amazing what we have. Um, starting off with just we have vendors that are from outside. that We have um, food vendors serving in our green space. And then, of course, the church does a... Uh, blueberry dessert buffet, mm -hmm. which has cheesecake, fresh blueberry pie, mm -hmm. gingerbread cheese, <laughs> <laughs> gingerbread, blueberry gingerbread, coffee cakes. Yeah. My smile's know, just the getting bigger. Numbers are amazing. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you gotta love a dessert bar. But it, that... it literally is. You can get drunk there. <laughs> oh Lord, I, I'm okay with being dessert drunk. That's for that's sure. That's what it is. And it's important to note that that doesn't happen by magic. There are lots of folks volunteering their time to bake all of the de deliciousness that people can enjoy here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, pans have been coming in all day of these delicious desserts that are mm -hmm. all different then yeah it's just a very lovely thing and we have coffee and lemonade and tea yeah. and we do serve food yep um, we'll be having a fish fry and we'll also serve hamburgers and hot dogs yep. for those that like that and you can get just your french fries it's pretty convenient over there as i say that's our church space yeah. here and um we just hope everybody will come and enjoy it. So there's a main course to justify all of the dessert. Of course. All but righty. a lot of people start with the dessert first. I just can't imagine why. But. Why? Um, <laughs> it's such a tough call. <laughs> but I call. think you might do that yourself. You, you huh? can kind of bookend it, really. Absolutely. Start with dessert, end with dessert. <laughs> You could do that. All too. right. That's Just how I roll. a nice meal in the middle. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, lots to enjoy here at the Wild Maine Blueberry Festival. Obviously, food, a major highlight, and the volunteerism that goes into it. Absolutely. Yeah. All uh, right. The volunteers are 50 to 100 people come in 
All right. give their time. They are the lifeblood of the festival. Well, folks, come on out and enjoy. And we have more to come, including sports, coming up next. On the Road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from Machias, is sponsored by Living Innovations. Be part of the Living Innovations workforce and be part of a caring community with purpose. Learn more at livinginnovations.com. Barron View Golf Course is a great treat for golfers of all skill levels. A nine-hole par 35 course opens seven days a week. No tee times needed. And Coastal Auto Parts, your local Napa Auto Parts dealer, with 29 locations, owned and operated by a main family that cares. Al, did you make that call? Honey, we already have Medicare. Why do I need to call? Alan, the Feldman said we may be able to get additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan right here in our zip code with zero dollar monthly premiums. Honey, what do you mean additional benefits? We turned 65, we got Medicare. That's all there is to it, right? I'm talking about Medicare Part C, commonly called Medicare Advantage. We have traditional Medicare, which is only Medicare Parts A and B, but not Part C. Wait. So not everyone on Medicare is a Part C plan? No. That's why we need to call, because there may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Parts A and B. We don't have a Medicare Part C plan, which covers everything in Part A and Part B, plus extra benefits in Medicare Part C. What kind of extra benefits? There are great plans that may be available with extra benefits, like dental, vision, and hearing. Did you say dental? Yes, dental. Medicare Part C plans could include dental benefits that help cover routine dental exams and teeth cleanings, plus dental x-rays, fillings, gum disease treatment, and dentures. We need that. I'm calling. If you don't have a Medicare Part C plan, call now because there may be plans with additional benefits available that are simply not covered under Medicare Parts A and B, like routine dental coverage. If you're on Medicare, you can call even if you called last year. We will check to see if there is a Part C plan available in your area with additional benefits. You don't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. If you're losing coverage, moving, or new to Medicare, call to speak with a licensed insurance agent. Remember, you don't get Medicare Part C benefits automatically. Call now for your free 2022 no obligation Medicare benefits review. Call 800 413 8094. 800 413 8094. The Carolina Panthers take on the New England Patriots tonight at 7 on ABC 7. Welcome back in, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you for staying with us. Beautiful day out there right now. There is a new black bear up in Orono. This year, Maine Athletics is partnering with Team Impact, a nonprofit that connects college sports teams with children facing some tough battles. And Maine football got the ball rolling on Thursday. Dave Peck has the story. Just the energy of all the guys coming together when they're, when they're chanting and they're celebrating, it's like... Almost brings me to tears that music is to be a part of that. Meet Mason DeWicky, Maine football's latest recruit to don the blue and white. It's always been talking about <laughs> nonstop. When am I going and, and and what am I doing next? And I can't wait to wear a jersey. In two words, the experience thus far has been very cool. Mason joins the Black Bears thanks to Maine's partnership with Team Impact, a nonprofit program that pairs children facing illness with local college teams. That's something I feel strongly about. Uh, I think that it's important to have um, those relationships within the community. Uh, I think it's in Team Impact's a great organization. Cool to see, you know, Team Impact, what they're doing. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to do my part, you know, be cool with Mason. He's awesome. Great to get along. Cool kid, you know, loves football. And uh, it's really just awesome to be around. On Thursday, the move became official. As Mason signed his papers to live out the dream of an 11-year-old kid from Orono. There's been a lot of things that I hate watching Mason have to do, so knowing that there's opportunities like this for him to get more intense, great experiences, it's just out of this world. Mason battles with cystic fibrosis, but his strength and positive attitude is already leaving an impact on his new team. He has a great energy, and um, this is the second time I've seen him, but he's always smiling, and I, and I can only... 
uh, imagine what he's going through, but he's pushing through, he's fighting, and it motivates me. Over the next two years, he'll have the chance to wear the jersey, hang out with the team, and even learn a secret handshake or two. But as a kid who simply loves football, the best part will be... Going on the field with them when they're playing football feels amazing. For me, it's going to be able to see these guys care about school and care about their health and just the total package of being a well-rounded person. I'm so thankful for Mason to be able to have something like that. Reporting from Orono, Dave Peck, ABC7 Fox 22 Sports. Some awesome stuff there, Dave. It was a blast yesterday meeting Mason and mom and just seeing all the smiles and the energy around that moment of him signing and throwing the jersey on. Just really great to be a part of. Thanks for that, Dave. Staying with some football now and some exciting news out of Foxborough ahead of New England's second preseason game of the year. After fighting all week at practice, the Pats will take on the Panthers Friday night at Gillette. And we are finally going to get our first look at some of the starters, including Mac Jones. I am so excited to see what year two Mac looks like. After all the talk about him so far during camp, I'll be looking at, first of all, who is calling the plays for Jones and how he gels with his new group of weapons, Devontae Parker, all that. Game kicks off at 7 p.m. And with just one more preseason game after this one, this may be our only look at Mac until week one on September 11th. All righty, that's sports. Here's Conrad Sapinski with your full five-day forecast. Conrad. Thank you so much. And today's main weather is brought to you by Varney Ford in Newport, which gives one full year maintenance on every new and used vehicle they sell. Come visit them and see their huge selection of cars and trucks, the nice car and truck people. So today the weather was much nicer than what we had out there yesterday. We had some chilly weather, some 60s, so some long sleeve, pretty much fall weather yesterday. But today, a different story. We had temperatures close to 80 degrees out here earlier today, close to 79, 78 in Bar Harbor, and even some 80s by Rockland. Same thing by Waterville and Augusta. So everyone had some 70s and 80s, so nice and toasty out there. Tomorrow is going to be a lot warmer, so today was pretty much that calm before the heat. Mother Nature is bringing some heat, and she's coming in with some vengeance. 90 degrees for tomorrow as a high, 87 for Sunday, and then we finally cool down back into the upper 70s before we start to rise back into the 80s by midweek. So we'll have some above average temperatures the next week. So yesterday, a bit cooler. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Same thing today, around 80, and then we climb that ladder to close to 90 degrees for tomorrow. So get ready, uh, bring out that sunscreen because the UV ray is going to be pretty high out there. A seven, so 30 minutes of a burn time. Bring out a hat, some sunglasses, sunscreen, of course, find some shade, and do not forget to stay hydrated. Bring some water because uh, it is going to be hot. It's going to be sunny as well. So in around 30 minutes on the sun and you could start to get a little bit dehydrated. So really be careful out there. But right now looking pretty good. Just a few passing clouds, a couple of sprinkles uh, just in the northern part of the state. Most of that is starting to dissipate, starting to really move out and nothing to really worry about in the area and all across the northeast. Most of us are in the clear. Just a couple of showers in Canada. Not looking like much right now. Just a few scattered showers there. That will not really be affecting us. We're going to be in the clear for the next couple of days. So enjoy it while it lasts. The heat is going to arrive tomorrow. 90 degrees. So get ready for the heat. Temperatures are going to be above average for quite some time. At least the muggy meter is showing that it's going to be pretty good uh, for our dew points. Our dew points are going to be a little bit on the lower end for Saturday into Sunday. But then once uh, chances of showers roll in Monday into Tuesday, the muggy meter starts to rise. So those dew points are going to be a bit higher. It's going to get a little bit more uncomfortable and sticky. But our extended forecast outlook does show nice weather sticking around for Sunday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s before more chances of showers by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All righty. Uh, looks like a really great weekend ahead for all the festivities here in Machias. Yes, I can taste all of the desserts right now. Just saying. <laughs> a little preemptively. A little preemptively. That's great. Stay with us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
on the road. Broadcasting the news at 6, live from Machias, is sponsored by Center Street Congregational Church invites you to come and enjoy the best festival in Down East Maine. Loads of fun for the entire family. Visit Washington Academy at the Wild Blueberry Festival to learn more about customized high school education. Uniquely you, uniquely WA. And the University of Maine Early College. Tuition free online fall courses for high school students. UMaine.edu slash early college. At Living Innovations, we build community. You can be a part of it. We put supporting people first, and that builds a caring community within our workforce and for the people we serve. Living Innovations supports people with disabilities and has flexible work opportunities available. You could become a shared living provider and work from home, or help support people to be active in the community. To learn more, visit livinginnovations.com and check out our employment and home provider opportunities. Become a part of Living Innovations and be part of a community with a purpose. Bruce Poliquin has always fought to protect Maine residents and businesses. That's why he spoke out against a Washington scheme to let the IRS spy on Maine bank accounts. Washington bureaucrats want to monitor our transactions, take more of our money, and ignore our privacy. But Bruce Poliquin is fighting back. Call Bruce and tell him to keep up the fight. He's standing up for Maine and keeping the government out of our bank accounts. There's a big question going around Seasons Grill and Sports Lounge at 427 Main Street in Bangor about how fresh their seafood is. So I decided to find out exactly how fresh it is in this live investigative report. So we went all the way down to Deer Isle Stone to Captain John to ask the question, is the seafood fresh? Is this fresh enough for you? The summer lobster special at Seasons in Bangor is now on. Restrictions may apply. See seasonsbangor.com for more details. Welcome to the Purple Baboon, a local gem on the Belfast waterfront. Find lots of little joys for every taste, like fun clothing for the whole family and a lovely selection of coastal Maine made jewelry. The Purple Baboon, the best selection at great prices, 31 Front Street, Belfast. Tonight, the battle over the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago and top secret documents taken from the property. Plus, extreme drought now spreading across the Northeast. More Americans turn to World News Tonight with David Muir, the most watched program on all of television. looking to escape the crowd of the wild Maine Blueberry Festival will still get that blueberry experience. Look no further than Welch's Farm. The family-owned farm has been part of co-owner Lisa Haskam's family for more than 100 years as it was acquired in 1912. Besides growing, the family gives tours of the property to show what it takes to care for wild blueberries. Haskam says she wants people to understand the uniqueness of this fruit. The things that I I uh, really like to uh, address with uh, our guests that come to visit the, the farm is that how special these blueberries are. Um, the fact that they are one of the best fruit that you can eat for health, but also just the, the um, amazing qualities and, and that these blueberries have. And be sure to check out Welch, Welch Farm's website and Facebook page for more information and events. All right, and lastly tonight, we're joined by Melissa Heinerman. She's one of the many organizers who help make this festival possible. And thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thanks yeah. For being here. And so what you're really doing is helping to put together the Wild Blueberry Ball, correct? And correct. so tell me about uh, how that all kind of started and how it's evolved yeah. over the years. Yeah, I can't take any credit for the festival itself. There are so many organizers that do a great job from year to year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it originated almost 20 years ago. It was originally called the Bad Little Falls uh, Black Fly Ball, a dress up dance party for all. Mm -hmm. And the original uh, person that organized the event moved out of town. So it kind of fell by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the festival the last couple of years because of COVID. And I, I wanted to bring it back. This yeah. is my community. I love it here. It's part of the reason why I'm running for office. Uh, I, I wanted to bring it back, and I know the community loves it. So, yeah, it's a great time. It sounds like a great time. Fun for the whole family. Exactly. Uh, and you mentioned something about dress up. So tell me, what yeah. kind of attire is encouraged uh, for this event? I've told people you can wear your prettiest princess dress, yeah. a crazy costume, or you can come as you are. It's a judgment-free zone. That's awesome. Whatever you'd like to wear, it's totally fine. Just come and have a good time. We have three very awesome local bands that are set to play and a, an excellent sound man who is going to keep the music rolling from 6 to 11 p.m. tomorrow night after the festival. 
Fantastic. Yeah. And what kind of uh, music can we expect from these bands? Um, a little bit of everything. Rock, okay, cool. alternative, full soul. Yeah. yeah. Keeping it upbeat, it sounds exactly. like. Exactly. Very cool. So exactly. So just another great factor of this festival uh, to enjoy. And I'm sure many people are thankful uh, that that will be making its return as well. Absolutely. I hope so. I hope everyone has a great time. Fantastic. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. And thank you. that'll do it for the rest of our On the, Ro On the Road show. Thanks so much for tuning in. And make sure to get out to Machias this weekend. ABC 7 News at 6, On the Road Live from Machias, is sponsored by 